where people are looking for someone who can go up to Sacramento and immediately take on the toughest challenges that we have. Housing affordability, homelessness, climate change. I've done that here in San Francisco and uh, I, I focus on both what I've done and what I will do and uh, a positive campaign and that resonated. The fact that we are running a corporate free campaign, the fact that we are the strong champions for Medicare for All, for a Green New Deal. I think all of that is really resonating with voters. And quite frankly, the attacks that have been you know, made against me, in some respects, have clarified the, the race for many people. A voter certainly sent a very clear message. I think that it shows that um, there was a lot of dissatisfaction with the Board of Education, that they needed to uh, focus on uh, educating kids and prioritizing academic performance and achievement. There was a message that was sent by voters tonight. Uh, they want leadership that's accountable, that is responsive, that's connected to the things that they really care about. We have a lot of work to do to support our schools. We need to choose a new superintendent. We need responsible, effective, accountable leadership at the school district. And I'm prepared as the next assembly member, if I'm elected in, in April, to immediately step in and be helpful there. The question is just going to be making sure people come out and vote again. You know, it's this was a low turnout, you know, this is going to be even harder with only one thing on the ballot to get people to come out in April. And so we're just going to immediately focus on identifying our supporters, making sure that they're ready to turn out again, broadening our base, and I think we'll be able to build a, a strong enough and big enough coalition to win. This is about, you know, giving voters a choice between a true progressive champion who is going to fight for regular people uh, and push for single-payer, Medicare for all, a Green New Deal, and affordable housing. Uh, and I think that we're going to give that contrast to voters.